It's a first MLS start of the season for Englishman Drew Yearwood. This will be his third appearance of the year overall. And forward Mikel Ua, Quinn Sullivan, Damian Lowe, and Nathan Harriel will draw in. Drew Yearwood making a first start of the season for this Red Bull side. And we're underway in Harrison, New Jersey. That's a good ball ahead to the foot of Omir Fernandez. The Bronx native curls one wide. On the last play for the Philadelphia Union. Yearwood. That's a good ball to find. Tolkien in the 18. John Tolkien cuts it back off the right foot. Saved by Blake. Reaching up and parries it away. It's a corner. The way that he just goes forward and he gets behind Flock. Plays a lovely ball then to Tolkien, who just steps inside Harry. See exactly what he's trying to do, just find that top corner. And it's a really good save from Blake, as you can see, we're just heading towards that top corner. Wagner links Sullivan for Gazdag. Foul was called. Referee Dickerson rules advantage, and this is taken by Sean Nealis. And now he'll bring this back in a yellow card out of the pocket of Dickerson. Challenged by Dylan Nealis out wide. This is Bedoya. The Union captain for Carranza. Penalty. Carranza fouled in the 18. And argument from several Red Bulls surrounding the referee Dickerson. He's just whether there was enough for Carranza to go down. But you can see the pull there from Dylan Nealis. He finds himself out of position. But this ball from Bedoya is absolutely magnificent. And then the first touch is Taysom Clay, and then he brings Carranza down. And then the argument will be, is that is there enough to say that it's a clear and obvious error from... See, the referee is just waiting now. And he's going to go and look at the monitor. So he, he now has been told, potentially, that it is a clear and obvious error. We talked about the importance of first goal. Such a critical call here in the game's 29th minute. 27-year-old Daniel Gazdag for the lead. 1-0 Union on the road. For the first time this season, Philadelphia has a first-half goal away from home. But the second you do that, you're asking for trouble. And then Gazdag steps up, sends Coronel the wrong way. It's a good penalty right into the corner. And just talking about the context of the game now, from Philadelphia Union, they've got the first goal. They've earned the right now to play as the counter-attacking team. So Red Bulls, they have to step out now. And that's going to leave more space. Yearwood settles. Now the service by Dylan Nealis. This will fall for Harper. First half stoppage time. Red Bulls looking for the equalizer. That's Burke with the attempted finish with Omir crashing in as well. I think what you've got to do, two key plays for Red Bulls in this system are the wingbacks. You have Harper and you have Tolkien. You have to get them more involved. A lot of it's been going through the middle of the pitch and that's where it is congested. The space is out wide. Wagner keeps the service low. Save made by Coronel. A big stop. Carlos Coronel denying Nathan Harriel. Goes through a number of players here before he gets to Harriel. And Harriel does well to react. And Coronel does even better to react and tip it over the bar. It's a lovely ball in from Wagner. An equally good save from Coronel. Wonderful save. He does see it right at the last second. He's able to get strong enough hands on it. Given away by the Union. Manuel again plays this across. Caceres, top of the 18. His shot blocked by Bedoya. Now Tolkien with a shot saved by Blake. Barlow does well to control. Played out wide. Harper for the Red Bulls. Cameron Harper works on McGlynn. His service across. Oh, Hatberg at the far post. And the chance misses the target. Red Bulls come away with it. Sean Nealis quickly ahead. Now Carmona. Tom Barlow. And a runway on the right side. Harper works this ball in, seeks out Burr. Nothing that bothers Andre Blake, who puts it to bed. And now the final whistle blows. Well, you can't overreact to a loss. You can make the case the Union in midweek 